Hey guys, it's Ricardo. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, here I have the Nintendo 3DS XL. And of course, this is the Super Nintendo um, Entertainment System Edition. And of course, that's not the focus as this will work on any of those devices or any of these devices, as long as it's a Nintendo 3DS. Now, of course, to actually connect to a Wi-Fi network, simply turn on your device. And as this powers up, remember to check out the website if you have not already, guys. And of course, as you can see here, I have um, the main interface here. I'm just going to scroll over. And as you can see here, you're going to tap on this icon right here. That is the wrench, which is for settings, or system settings. Sorry, whoops. So you're going to tap on that. You can tap again to select. And of course, they'll be loading up. And once you're in here, guys, let's go into Internet Settings. And once in Internet Settings, guys, it says Create or change your connection settings and view information go to connection settings and you'll see the first slot right here and of course you can either delete or create a new connection and what I'm going to do is just new connection and manual setup and of course you'll see the options here you have AOSS I think you have the Wi-Fi easy setup there is the manual setup and of course there is search for access point and all four options will give you the best possible um, scenario to connect to your um, device. But if you just want to connect to your house's Wi-Fi network that's broadcasting, you simply go ahead and search for access point. And it says searching. And it says access point found. And of course, you can see several here. And it shows various uh, versions. So what we're going to do next, guys, is just simply search for the one that we want which is this one here and once you do that you're going to enter the password i'm going to do that off screen so as you can see it says enter passwords right there so i'm going to do this off screen now that i've entered the password guys as you're seeing here what i'm going to do next is just go ahead and hit ok and i'm just going to tap ok on screen and of course it says access point will be saved as connection number two seeing that connection number one is being used by that one there so it's going to take up connection two so let's go ahead again and hit OK. And of course, this connection, connection settings have been saved. Connection tests will now be performed. You can go ahead and hit OK. And of course, allow it to test the connection. And when finished, you should be good. And that's it. All right, guys, so again, you can see that it is now connected and it says we have internet access. Is a connection test successful? Use a compatible software title to verify data transmission with other um, users is working and just go ahead and hit OK. And of course, connection 2 is now working fine. And of course, the delete a connection simply go to um, connection 2 and just delete settings, delete. And of course, it says deleted. And I can go back and you can see connection 2. And it says you can change connection tests and so on. All right. So as you can see here, guys, we should now be connected to the internet. Just some quick points, guys. If you're having issues actually connecting, just remember that you need sometimes the router can actually prevent this device from connecting. Um, if you have are behind a firewall of a device, so for example, let's say there's the main internet in the building and you're actually connected to a secondary router that's actually taking the internet connection and broadcasting it as a relay, you may want to actually connect to the direct connection. Um, some routers will not accept this device. So what I suggest is that you get a better router or if you're not working on one network, simply go to another network or switch to the main device that's sending out the internet as a wireless signal or you could have issues as I was having before. All right, guys, if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask below. This is Ricardo from Block Tech Tips, basically showing you um, how to fix issues or how to tackle various tech issues. Alright guys, we're from Black Tips and bye until next time guys. Bye.